Hello everyone, today we have new video review and as you can see this time we are going to check fresh release from Print Gun. That's a 144 scale Horton Ho 229A. As you can see that's a Night Fighter version and now we have a chance to check it closer. This is a new release from Czech Manufacture and packaging is quite nice I would say, especially this box art. Uh, here you can see comparison with my hand, it's typical size for 144 scale kit from this manufacturer and straight away I want to say that there will be also available uh, this nice P upgrade for this model. We will check it in separate video review so follow our YouTube channel and you will see it. As for the kit packaging here is quite typical we have some uh, safety information on the sides also here we have some information about manufacturer and here you can see Two marking options which are included into this kit. These are quite interesting and they should look really unusual in 144 scale. Now let's open this box and check what is inside. And meanwhile, while I'm opening this box, I would like to remind you that we are gathering money for the new Fortnite video equipment. And you can help us too by pressing the donate button on our website. It is easy, it is safe, and of course you only you decide how much we will get for the new photo and video equipment which will improve quality of our photo and video reviews. Okay, so here we have two grey plastic sprues. I would like to start with this one and here we have top and bottom fuselage halves. As you can see detailing looks really nice even though those are quite small parts. You can see their size relative to my fingertips. And note that engine gondolas are already pre-molded, so you won't be able to expose engine inside. Also here we have landing gear wheels, landing gear doors, some external parts, and let's flip it over. Inside, of course, we don't have any position elements whatsoever, so be careful while combining those two together. But note that at least gun barrels are pre-molded, so be careful in order not to lose them while assembling this nice and usual aircraft. Next we have this plastic sprue. Here obviously we have wing parts. Those are molded as a one piece part so you won't have to deal with separate halves. Of course ailerons and flaps are pre-molded. We have recess panel lines. We have here also no landing gear leg with wheel pre-molded. And note that also here we have this pilot seat which is molded as a one piece part. I'm not sure what is this element but those are definitely landing gear doors. Next is this nice canopy which is molded as a one piece part. It looks really good, but keep in mind that masks are not included into this kit so you have to cut them with your own hands and in such tiny scale it might be a bit tricky, so be ready for this. And then we have small plastic bag with decal sheet and also small P thread. So even out of the box we will get some P parts. Just give me a second to remove everything out of this plastic bag. Okay, so first is this decal sheet. As you can see, it looks really good. I will remind you that we have only two marking options here. So you will be able to copy with those symbols two marking options. Then we have small unpainted P thread, which actually copies antennas on the aircraft. Let's focus the camera so that you can see it sharp. So here you can see them. Definitely you will need sharp tweezers for this because otherwise it will be really tricky to apply them in place. And last but not the least is this element of any plastic kit I would say. As you can guess that's assembly manual. Let's focus the camera. On the first page we have parts map, then we have Assembly process which starts with cockpit, then we install also some parts for the engine. Note that then we close fuselage halves and wing attachment here. Here you have also assembly of the landing gear system, landing gear doors and as far as I understand this part will be used for the frontal landing gear leg. And here we have last steps which include installation of the antennas and also canopy of course. So quite nice small kit 
from Brand Gun. It should be already available on their official web shop. In my opinion, that's quite an interesting alternative for those who don't want to spend time with 148 scale kits of this aircraft. It is interesting airplane and you now you have a chance to have it in a small scale and assembled model won't take a lot of space on your shelf. Of course, I will be happy to hear your opinion about this kit. Write it here in the comment section below. If you like this video, press the like button, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and I will see you in the next video review as usual. Bye.